my name is Connie Jian, and today I'm going to show you how to do specific exercises to strengthen your hip flexors as well as your quads and your shin muscles to clear your foot as you walk. In my clinic, I'm seeing a lot of patients that are losing balance and proprioception and they're at risk for falls. So I want to make sure you stay safe. So do this with me every day and I promise you'll be able to go from sit to stand, transfer in and out of your car, and be able to be so functional that you don't have to worry about falling again, okay? So to start, you're gonna sit nice and tall. Make sure your spine or upper body is perpendicular or vertical to the floor or whatever surface you're sitting on. And keeping nice and tall, you're going to lift one leg up Okay, and keeping that leg up the whole time, you're going to hold for three seconds and then bring it slowly down and tap and go again and hold for three seconds. One, two, three, and down and again. One, two, three, and down. It'll be especially helpful to make sure that you keep your toes up as well and down. Something so simple, but if you do it mindfully, you'll realize if you're doing this at home with me that these muscles start to really get activated and you can feel the soreness and the activation of all your leg muscles as I am experiencing right now. Seven and down. Eight and nine and 10. And just hold it for fun and down seems again it feels like nothing but it it really pays off in the long run to make sure that you really stay connected with your muscles okay so i'm going to go on to the left side i let um brought the left knee up toes up and hold three seconds and down again one two three and down it's so important that you don't lean back as you do this that you stay nice and perpendicular and the only thing that's moving is your leg and down. Four, one, two, three, down. Five, one, two, three, down. Six, one, two, three, down. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, one, two, three, and down. Boy, my legs got sore. So if you do it right and correctly and keep a sustained hold in that motion, you're gonna get so much out of that. So now I'm just gonna do a toe tap. Typically what happens as we grow older is that we lose um, the ability to connect with our uh, muscles, right? The specific muscle that I'm talking about today is the anterior tibialis or your shin muscles. That's called a foot drop. I see this so much in patients over 60 years. They just trip over their foot. So this is a classic one that I teach to ensure that you stay nice and sharp as you walk throughout the day. So sitting up nice and tall again, all you do is bring the toes up like you're going to tap your foot, right? But hold it up for three seconds and down slowly, intentionally. Bring it up again to hold and down. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, as you bring your toes up and down. Again, four, one, two, three, and down. And five, one, two, three, and down. Six, one, two, three, down. Seven, one, two, three, down, eight, and nine, one, two, three, down, and 10, one, two, three, and down. The left side, up, one, two, three, and down. Make sure you really lift up that foot all way, all the way, the full range of motion that you've got in that ankle. One, two, three, and down. Three, one, two, three, down. Four, one, two, three, down. Five, one, two, three, down. Six, one, two, three, down. Seven, one, two, three, down. Eight, 
one, two, three, down, nine, one, two, three, down, and ten, one, two, three, and down. Ten reps, three sets, every single day. I promise that's going to take you so far.